Good day, my fellow engineers, and welcome. My name is Benjamin, and today we are going to be building a massage robot. Let's get right into the build. Now, I got this idea from an episode of Good Mythical Morning I was watching the other day. Rhett and Link were reviewing weird massage products, and one of them happened to be a massage robot. When I saw it, I thought, hey, I can build me one of those. So, here we are. Let's get right into the build. So here's the CAD design for the robot. It's a fairly simple design, and it didn't take too long to make. The robot is moved by two wheels which are driven by two DC motors. These motors are connected to this L298N motor driver on the front here, which is hooked up to our Raspberry Pi circuit board. This little contraption on the top is going to spin around with zip ties attached and scratch your back. It's driven by a single servo motor. Now let's send our parts to the 3D printer. So the parts finished 3D printing and they actually came out really, really well. So uh, our next step is to attach our electrical components. I'm just going to be attaching these parts using double-sided sticky tape. So I put the whole thing together and I did actually have to use a little bit of E6000 super glue just on this little uh, box part because it wasn't quite sticking how I wanted it to with the tape. But everything is put together and it's looking great. We've got all of our wires running from our Raspberry Pi to our l 29 nn and then of course running to our two DC motors on the bottom and our battery pack which is powering the Raspberry Pi. I've just taped down these wires with regular painters tape just to get them out of the way. And uh, of course on top here I've added the zip ties so that it'll scratch your back when it spins around. And to weigh these zip ties down I just use two quarters that are wrapped in painters tape. That way they actually hang down so that they touch the ground. Now that I'm done putting everything together our next step is to test the code. So with the code I have in the robot currently, it should move forward, then move backward halfway, spin around the servos for a couple of seconds, then move back all the way to where it started. Now I'm going to click run and the robot should do what we tell it to. Alright, that was perfect. The robot did exactly what we told it to, so now we can go test it out in the wild. In this time of pandemic and self-quarantine, a lot of people feel themselves being stressed out, and there's nothing better to relieve that stress than a nice back massage. But Benjamin, I hear you saying, I'm lonely and I don't have anyone to massage my back for me. Well, have I got the product for you. Introducing. The MassageBot 3000, patent pending. This robot is cheap, simple to use, and overall a great product. Don't believe me? We took this product out into the public to test it on volunteers. I think the footage speaks for itself. Step 1. Simply place your MassageBot on the participant's lower back. Make sure it's as centered as possible. I'm just going to move these to make sure they're good. Step 2. Click Run in your Python program. Wait a couple seconds and the massage bot should work its magic. Ah! Oh, that kind of hurt. Ah! Ow! Ah! 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 <laughs> Step three, remove the massage bot. Your massage is complete. So, how would you rate this product on a scale of one to 10? Well, I'd put it at like a four. 100. 400 out of 10. The Massage Bot 3000. It's really, really janky. 